Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Creepy Basement, aka the Axe Workshop. So today, I just wanted to kind of go over a quick tip, something I learned the hard way. Maybe you guys do this already, or maybe you don't, and this video is going to help you out tremendously. Alright, so I got three axe handles here in front of me, brand new. I just purchased them from Whiskey River Trading. And I just kind of want to go over what I do with them once I get them out of the box, or I should say what I do with them now. Because what I used to do um, is what's causing this issue with my axe handles. So, uh, long story short, last winter is when I got into axes, so it's been almost a year now. Um, it's just shy of a year. So, during the winter, my basement was a very dry environment, and you know I thought nothing of it. I started accumulating axes and handles and... Everything was great, going fine. Now, fast forward into this summer, spring and summer that just passed. Um, my basement became a very humid, damp environment, and I did not realize that because I never used to have anything in the basement. And what happened was um, my axes, the heads would be rusty all the time. Um, so I'll, I'm not going to go into too much depth about all that because we'll save that for another video. But axe handles. The handles that I would got brand new, I would either leave in the box or I'd put in a little rack. I'm sure you guys saw there was a rack behind me sometimes in videos and it just had a couple extra handles in there. Well, guys, I learned the hard way and this humid environment, raw handles, I've ruined a lot of handles. And uh, some of them I'll be able to save, but some, you know, ended up cracking. They're all moldy and because they were standing up like this, all the bottoms of the handles are all checked and whatnot. Obviously, I'll use them. I'm not going to throw away money like that, but it is absolutely a bummer to see that happen. So, uh, there's two answers to this. There's one, store them somewhere else. That's a great idea. I do have a dehumidifier in here now, but, um, you know, still, the damage is done, and we're trying to remedy that. So, there's two answers to that. There's, like I said... Store them in a different spot. That's great. That's easy. I don't have anywhere else to store them. I'm not putting a ton of axes in my living room or in my bedroom. I just, I'm not going to do it. Um, two is what I'm about to show you. So, guys, very simple. It never dawned on me, but all the handles that got ruined were, one, close to the ground, meaning sitting in that rack, and two, they were not treated raw handles, raw wood. I looked around, all these axes around me, obviously you guys can't see the ones over here, all these axes, all the handles are treated with linseed oil and they're off the ground and not one of those handles has an issue. Now the heads, that's a different story, we got a lot of flash rusting going on, but the handles themselves were fine. Now the raw handles got ruined. They're moldy, they're checking, they're swollen, they're, they're actually physically heavier because they have been so absorbed with so much water. Um, so, my thinking is, brand new axes out of the box, light coat of linseed oil. Obviously, once I hang them, I'm going to be shaping the eye according to the head I put it on. But for now, versus the handles getting destroyed, light coat of linseed oil. I'm going to try to build something under the stairs, maybe like a little rack. That way I'm not leaning them, and I can slide them in. Um, I don't know. I'm going to come up with something, but that's my theory. Light coat of linseed oil. We don't have to do a few coats like we're treating a handle for use and things like that. Just to make some kind of moisture barrier on these handles. And, um, you know, I'll get back with you guys because even though we're at the end of summer, it's still pretty humid here uh, in Pennsylvania. And my basement still is getting pretty damp. And I'll get back to you guys and follow up with this video and let you know how it worked out. But for now, this idea sounds like it's going to be excellent. I don't know how I didn't think of this before. I'm like, man, these axes didn't get affected. These handles got affected. The linseed oil. Alright guys, same procedure as if, you know, you just put a head on it and you were getting ready to use. Nice thin coat of boil linseed oil, or in this case, raw linseed oil, you know, same thing, cover the whole handle, get the end grain, obviously, you know, when we're ready to hang a head on these particular handles that we're treating for storage, 
Um, we're going to have to go back through and do some sanding and shaping the eye and whatnot, but that's okay. Alrighty guys, so now i got all three handles treated with a light coat of linseed oil. And what I'll do is I'll just take, you know, three axes down and I'll put these up to dry so they're not laying down like that, which if they are laying down, I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. But to make me feel better while I'm at work, I'm going to hang them up. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's the ticket. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me know too. I'd like to hear what you guys do. What do you do for storing your handles long term or where do you store them? Are you putting them in your bedroom because it's a very controlled, you know, environment as far as temperature and humidity? Or are you keeping them in your shed and you're going through the same situation I'm going through and this is going to help you out? I'd love to know. Let me know down in the comments. But now, we're going to open a box. I know box openings are boring, but I promise this one's really exciting. At least it's really exciting for me and I would love for you guys to stick around and enjoy this moment with me. Alrighty guys, here it is. I've been waiting months for this and to be brutally honest, I forgot about this for quite a long time and then I received an email from Mr. Lane from Lamica Axes saying that my axe is ready to ship. So a lot of you guys might know Bushcraft Sisyphus from YouTube. Um, he was one of the first channels I came across when I first got into axes and learning how to sharpen. And um, I've always been very fond of his channel. And then when I learned about Lamica axes, I said, man, i got to figure out how to get one of these. And um, yeah, obviously, when the time came around, I got on the pre-order and I ordered an axe. But guys, it's here. Six long months, but it was well worth the wait, I'm sure. So let's tear into this thing and check it out. Absolutely. I guess I will be wearing this to work today. Cut this off here. Why not wear it for the video, right? Oh, look at that. He's, I don't know if you guys, I'll try to get this in view here. This is the tag that's on the hat. If you go, if you guys know Lane and his channel, Bushcraft Sisyphus, you know he's a very quirky, awesome, funny dude, and he says, in a world gone mad, only axes make sense. That's very Lane-like, very Lane-esque, I guess you would say. So that's awesome. Thank you, Lane, for being you. I feel like a uh, Ricky Bobby, you know? <laughs> All right. A lot of paper. That's awesome. Very well protected. Packing, 10 out of 10. Look at that. Gorgeous handle. I ordered mine in the Appalachian Walnut. Make sure there's not any other hidden gems in here, like a booklet or anything like that. All right, get this out of the way. Holy crap. Look at that, guys. That is absolutely beautiful. So obviously you could tell I got the, um, I believe it's the Lightwork Axe or something along those lines. I'll have to double check on the exact wording of it. But it's a 24 inch and I believe around a two pound head. Man, beautiful leather work. Absolutely. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That is like a mirror polish. And if I, I know Lane, this is probably getting close to the danger zone, as he would call it. This looks wicked sharp, and it's got to be every bit of 17, 18 degrees. Um, we'll get my gauge out here in a second and measure that. But, man, just take that all in, guys. That's absolutely beautiful. Just a real... Real beautiful piece here, guys. I can't wait to use this thing. Let's check this out on our little angle finder here. What do you think? Start at 20. Got some movement in 20. 17. It is 17 and a half degrees. And if any of you guys watched any of Lane's videos, 
You know, 18 and lower is the danger zone, guys. So we are in the danger zone. That's awesome. This thing is going to be deadly in some wood. Just, I hope you got, I hope, the, I feel like the camera's not doing this thing any justice. Guys, this axe is absolutely gorgeous. You almost feel bad using it, but I promise you guys we are going to be using this axe. For sure. This is not going to find its place on the wall and just say, Oh, I got a Lamka axe, but I don't use it. Guys, Lane and his small circle of guys put this together for people to use. This is an actual working axe. <laughs> this is just badass. That's what it is. That's what it comes down to. It's just a whole lot of badassness in my hands right now, and, and I'm about that. Now, let's not leave out the leather work either, guys. It's simple, it's effective, it's beautiful. And I love the oxblood red. I really do. Oh, look at that. So, let's see here. This head is stamped 374. This is, I'm assuming, I don't know if that's the 374th uh, Light Forest Axe, or if it's the 374th axe ever, but it also corresponds with the sheath. The sheath also has 374 written in it. That's really cool, guys. Something, you know, extra special that he does, and I think that's excellent. So, let's see if I can get this on. Nice tight fit, obviously. I'm struggling a bit here. Guys, absolutely gorgeous. This is it. Lamaka Light Forest axe. Beautiful piece here. Like I said, I cannot wait to get in the woods and chop with this thing. So, uh, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this short little video here. Um, I want to apologize about the unboxing. I know unboxings aren't exciting, but I had to share this moment with you guys. It's just awesome. And I really hope that handle tip helped some of you guys out. And like I said earlier, let me know what you guys are doing to store your handles or axes in general. I'd love to hear about it. But, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I promise this weekend we're going to get out and chop. I have something I'm working on behind the scenes a little bit right now. And uh, we're going to get out. Sorry, I'm just excited. We're going to get out in the woods, guys. That's where I'm going to cut it. We're going to go chop some wood. So thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day, guys.